Hello and welcome back to another rolling review. So me, Sam Cross again. So for today's review, I should try and remain as impartial as possible because it's a skate I've been skating for quite a number of years now. It is the USD Aeon 60, the basic XXI model. So as you can see, coming out straight out of the box, there's no plastic in the box these days. So it's as environmentally friendly as we can. And I shall run you through some of the features of the skate that have been upgraded from previous models. So now coming with the new second generation Aeon cuff. So it's got a two-way rockerable feature on there and it's designed to be a little bit more ergonomic around your ankle and provide a little bit more flex in comparison to previous Aeon models. Uh, for this season, they've actually removed the mid strap. I guess this is just to keep uh, production costs down and to keep the overall price down for the customer. It still comes with a little hook here if you do feel the need to hook it in there. But I personally, as you've seen from my pro skates, I don't actually put a mid, mid strap on my skates. So I'll just be lacing mine through here. You can, of course, mount a mid strap on there if you want. Or even a 45 degree ratchet buckle if you're looking for something a little bit stronger. The wheels are now the new rounded profile team wheels. So more akin to like a UC wheel, for example. So it's a little bit more agile and a bit more forgiving on flat setup. So you don't need to get quite as low as a square profile wheel. Uh, the liner is a USD basic liner. Same as in the current Sway model. So it's got a neoprene toe on there, all the way around. Nice and thick padding on there. So first things first, whenever I get a new pair of Aeons, always go around and tighten all the bolts. Can't stress enough, in all of our literature, strongly encourage everyone to check their bolts regularly. Ideally before every session, but I know most people can't be bothered, but as regularly as you can be bothered to do. I always do mine at least once a week. So another thing to note about the design also, the inside of the new cuff has got these pre-scored lines. I don't know if you can see that clearly enough. There's some scored lines on this side and this side. These, if you get a sharp pair of scissors, can easily be trimmed off just so you can get it a little bit tighter if you do need a little bit tighter. If you've got a particularly thin ankle or if you just want a little bit more support. The cuffs also come in two hard. This is now hard and soft. The hard ones come as standard on skates, but you can buy a soft version if this is still too hard for you. All right, skates are on. Let's try a few tricks. Just straight out of the box, getting that same classic A on feeling that I love. The sole plates, here, yeah, super wide. Kind of taking inspiration from the silhouette of the shadow sole plates, or the Ajado sole plates. Nice, wide, almost oversized negative plates. So really easy to do negative, to get positive, super easy. And obviously with the unibody concept, having the wheels pre-sunk, got a really big flat set up there. Very wide split on my flat set, rather. They've been there, moving in two. Making too much of an effort. Getting yeah, really easy on all my H-block tricks. Making it very easy for savannas, fast slides, etc. The liners, even though they're just stock liners, just really comfy straight out of the box. Haven't had to take the skates off yet. Normally I do in the first session. These have been really good straight away. Kind of, I'm not used to skating a MyFit liner, but even this stock line with a nice high tongue actually feels really good. You know, I get a nice bit of forward padding there. Can tuck my, my trackies behind it and keep them nice and Everything nice and together. All right, I'm gonna do a few more tricks on them. See how they feel for that. Okay. So obviously the defining characteristic of this skate is the unibody concept. So in the fact that the skate is all one piece, the sole plate, the frame, the boot is all one complete piece. Now it gives you lots of benefits with grinding, having a lower center of gravity, you have wider splits and stuff. 
But the thing that I like most is the energy transfer in the fact that normally of a UFS skate, when I push down through my skate, I've got to push through my boot into the sole plate, then into the frame and then into the wheels. Whereas having just one piece means I push from my foot, it goes directly into the wheels, which is really nice on something like this, a snake run. I can pump nice and quickly, regenerate some speed. All right, let's try not to kill these two scooter kids and I'll have a go. Yeah, so nice and easy <clears throat> as you're going over them camel humps through the divots really just feel that energy transfer coming as easily as you want it so we got blake bird cameo uh, first try that aeons Well, thanks for watching. Spent a roll review of the USD Aeon Basic.